I cannot believe I literally just like recorded half a video and then I look over to my to my monitor on my left where my OBS is open and I wasn't even recording. I do this way too often. You'd think I'd learn by now. Okay, take two, right? We are back at it once again. Another day, another video. For you guys, it's another day, it's another video. For me, it's been like five minutes since my Yarn Fee build. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. Top right corner, there'll be something popping out. Or, wait for it, five, four, three, two, one. We'll probably have another banner right now going over to the playlist where I have all my character builds. If you want to check out who I have, who you might actually need to build. So today, it is Chong Yoon's turn. Finally getting through all of these characters. I'm trying to do them all in one day because genuinely, Yonfei is not the greatest. Chong Yoon, you'll see that like, he's not bad, but he is by no means good at all. And Ningguan, I've said it multiple times. I just don't like Ningguan because of her place out. Aesthetically, she is beautiful aesthetically but yeah play style ah, i can't hack it can't hack it so chung yun mr that was sick i can't lie i love his animation yeah killer will look alike basically i love his aesthetic blue icy hair with the spiky ends like icicles with like the high ankle tracksuit type thing the under armor shirt that turns into a glove and this little crop top thing up here it's, it's just it looks so sick he looks sick he looks sick but his numbers do not match his looks, which is the main problem with him. I know everyone talks about don't go meta and stuff, and I agree with that. Don't go, don't pull for characters for the meta. But it becomes a problem when they're not doing numbers. There's a difference between a character being OP and a character not doing any numbers at all. He's very, very, very lackluster. Probably one of the worst hitting characters in the game. I might have the wrong build. I, I should probably say this first. I might have the wrong build. I may have to change some stuff that I don't know. If you are someone who actually uses Chong Yun in their main team, let me know in the comments. Watch this video. Let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong. And if your Chong Yun is actually got, like, actually dealing better damage, what it is I need to change in order to do that better damage. I'll be honest, I'll probably never use him again. But that's, you know, that's fine. I'm fine with that. So, my build 1600 attack on the dot. Don't know how I managed that. We have him at 40% crit rate with 61% crit damage, which is utter garbage, I'll be totally honest. I am a, I am ashamed of that. 164 energy recharge though. That's what actually we need to focus on. And then I don't know where all of this other resonance is coming from. But we have a crowd damage cup on him. As for weapons, we do have him on a Skyward Pride, which you can't go wrong. Probably his best in slot, definitely. Artifacts, I have him on a full piece, no bless. Yes, that's what we have on him. Uh, I'll go over the other option. They are, I have him at C6. And his talents are 5, 5, 5. The only reason why this is actually 6 is because Child is in the team. So it's actually 5, 5, 5. But obviously, Child is boosting this to 6. And then his uh, constellations are boosting these two to 8. That is my build. As I said earlier, we want to focus on his energy recharge. Because like I said, he's mainly focusing on his burst so he's pretty much very very similar to the uh Burnett build being that you want to focus on energy recharge so let's go over that skyward pride that is exactly why i have skyward pride on energy recharge five star weapon amazing base attack so that is obviously his best in slot i think the other five star weapons uh may also be probably best in slots as well uh, after this obviously after the skyward blade but if we want to go four star favonius greatsword incredible again it's basically just the four star variant with the energy recharge over there and it works similar to how the favonius sword favonius bow and all of those work where whenever you get a crit it will generate some particles which will then go into your character's burst so he can have his burst back up i have seen some people use the snow tombed uh star silver for physical damage build but i don't think that is a good build for him to be totally honest like i said his numbers just aren't there you could maybe go with a prototype archaic in order to get some more attack to get like the little boost but you like i said you do really want to focus on the energy recharge which is why if scoured pride or favonius are pretty much his only real options energy recharge if you have a favonius sword put it on him a scoured pride put it on him forgetting about anything else you need the energy recharge that's all we're caring about right now because as long as you got his burst up that's all that matters artifacts we are running a four piece no bless again burst so 
you want more burst damage plus you want to increase the attack party uh by 20 percent whenever you use your burst so that is option one option two is using a two-piece noblesse for the burst damage increase and then a two-piece blizzard trio so that you get more crowd damage as far as i'm concerned those are the two only real options that you can you should go for four piece noblesse or two piece noblesse with a two piece uh blizzard trio there might be other builds uh since new artifacts did come out such as the emblem of seven fate which increases energy recharge which could be helpful so i think honestly a possible way of doing it would be a two-piece emblem or severed with a two-piece noblesse so that you get an increase in energy recharge and you get an increase in your elemental burst or even a four-piece emblem the thing is i haven't tested that out and i haven't actually seen anyone else test that out so it's a little it's a little up there i'll probably have to do some research on that later but that just to let you know that could be a possibility the four piece or even two piece or four piece of the emblem of seven fate could actually be a viable option for chongyun and also for bennett but right now we're talking about chongyun so yeah keep that in mind that could be really good constellations don't need them but obviously they're great as always C1 basically gives you cryo on your final attack of your normal attack pattern. C2 basically reduces your active uh, party members cooldown for their elemental burst and their elemental skill. C3 and C5 obviously increase the talents by 3. C4 uh, makes it so whenever you attack someone that is affected by cryo you generate one energy for your burst and c6 makes it so whenever you attack someone who has lower hp percentage overall then your chong yuns you will do more damage and then talents normal attack is probably the least useful i'd say burst first for him then elemental skill and then the normal attack because you want to get the burst up as much as possible then obviously having the uh, element skill really helps and then the normal attack you don't really care about the normal attack but it's you know it's there that is the build as far as i'm concerned the thing is with chong yun i'll be honest early i did say he's he's you know viable early game but he doesn't really have a decent early game build if i'm being totally honest in terms of weapons there's nothing really that can help with the energy recharge and then as for artifacts again i don't really know what would be a good free piece for him to be totally honest uh because i don't really know what else increases energy recharge that's a free star so yeah it's a bit of a sticky one for the early game people even though i did say he is better early game the last part is obviously his team composition now uh as you know i pretty much always have a jungle in my team so, for, so we're pretty much working with two characters so i always talk about elemental uh reactions and that's it's no different right now trying to get some elemental reactions really helps especially when you use his elemental skill like i said some party members will end up doing cryo damage whenever they're in the circle of his elemental skill so you need to take that into consideration when you're using them so anyone that's a uh, claymore user a polearm user or a sword user will end up doing that that's why i'm actually using tartalia because whenever you use his elemental skill i mean because he's a bow user so whenever you use his elemental skill he's still doing hydro attack while chong yun's elemental skill is also giving off uh cryo plus we then have someone like fischl who's then also also doing electro damage so it's all sorts of reactions happening at once like i said i did try using a kaching as well the thing is this team build here is more so a full all-round burst team so chong yun always has his burst up because of his build that we just went over but Keqing also has her build has her burst up almost all the time because of fischl fischl is basically Keqing's battery so i would use chong yun's elemental skill then his elemental burst and switch over to Keqing and then use her elemental burst instantly and then get off a decent kind of reactions kind of numbers but i do still think genuinely that the uh, tartalia build actually worked much much better that's it that is the build mr chung yun he's not he's not the greatest right don't get me wrong but yeah no that's it he's just he's not the greatest he's not very good let me know in the comments like i said i might be doing something wrong you you can tell me what i need to change because i just i can't i, just, I, I can't figure it out but yeah like i said if you haven't seen my last video on yan fei or any of my other character builds for that matter click on the top right for the playlist and make sure you like the video if it helped you out subscribe and turn on the bell notifications for upcoming videos i still have ningguan next 
which I am dreading because I hate Ningguan for, for multiple reasons. She looks amazing, but I just don't like her playstyle. And then, uh, obviously, I also have a Beidou build as well. So, yeah, this entire week is basically just builds on builds on builds. Hopefully, I can go four days in a row with builds, build videos. I don't know. We'll see. Chongyun, you're talking a lot. Shut up. So, uh, listen, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be. Until then, take care. Peace.